The UCA football team exceeding expectations so far this season on the field, but off the field, it's been a difficult week for the Bears. Hayden Balgavy joins us now. A tough week specifically for one member of the UCA football team, Hayden. Absolutely, guys. You know, teammates, they're like family. When a teammate is suffering, you feel like you're suffering. And I'll be honest, this has been a very difficult week for the UCA Bears. In fact, last week, deep snapper Reeve Wood, he was dealt a terrible blow that only football and family could help heal. Every practice, Reeve Wood has a routine. Suit up and start snapping. <laughs> The UCA long snapper made his way to Conway from East Mississippi Community College, where his dad, Raleigh, taught Reeve how to be consistent day in and day out. He, he's my hero, and um, he, he just, he's just a great man. Thursday, just 48 hours before UCA's home opener, Reeve's father, teacher, and biggest fan lost his battle with brain cancer. He definitely fought, and... Um, and the way he fought it made it easier for me and my family because he was, he was optimistic the whole way. Back home with his family, it was a message from his mother that encouraged Reeve to rejoin his football family. My, my mom came to me about a, an hour or two later and said, you need, you need to go back and, and play. You know, I knew it was going to be going to be tough on him, but I knew that there probably couldn't be a better place for him to be than, than using football as his outlet. Not only did Reeve play, he had the game of his life. Five perfect snaps on three field goals and two extra points, lifting UCA to a 31-30 victory at home. He, he was heavy on my mind, and, but uh, we got it done. To go out and perform like he did on Saturday is just a testament, one, to him, but a testament to this team and what we're about. Nathan Brown calls his Bears a family. And after the victory Saturday night, they had a big family meeting where they lifted up their brother. He didn't skip a beat. You know, 20, 30 years down the line, I want these young men, these student athletes, uh, to look back at their times here and not just think about the wins and losses, but to think about the moments that, that shaped their lives for the rest of, their, the rest of the time they're here. Last week was, it was a tough week, and ending it like that was, was pretty special. And I'll never forget that moment. And you know, guys, it was funny talking to Reeve. He said, I thought about staying home, and it literally took, as he said, an hour, maybe two. He knew that his dad wanted him to go play. He was the difference in the game. Oh, He's yeah. the reason they won on Saturday. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of times people don't understand until you're in that situation as a person who also lost their father mm -hmm. to cancer. Getting back into your routine really mm -hmm. does help with the grieving process. And it's not that you're forgetting about them, right. but it really helps you figure out how to navigate and move forward after that loss. They're looking down on you and they know that you're doing what you love. Exactly. Mm -hmm.